Hello, and welcome back to our Squad Leader tutorial series. This is part two of Close Combat and Advanced Squad Leader, and we are going to cover infantry versus vehicles in close combat. In part one, we covered ambush and infantry versus infantry in close combat. In this video, we will show how infantry can engage vehicles. In this picture below, the German player wants to get his squad and 8 1 leader up close to attack the T 34 in close combat. For your simplicity's sake, we will say this battle is taking place in 1942. Therefore, the German player does not have any of the anti-tank toys that the Germans get later on in the war. During the move movement phase, the 8-1 and the German squad use assault movement to get into the hex next to the tank. In response to that, the T-34 fired everything it had at the German infantry. Let's assume the Russian tank crew is having a bad day and they did no damage to the infantry as they entered the hex. That leaves the 468 and the 91 safe and ready to go during the close combat phase. They cannot just enter the hex like they would against infantry. Don't forget, this is a big, bad Russian killing machine. So the first thing that has to happen is that the infantry must pass a task check before entering the hex with the enemy tank in it. The leader does not have to pass this task check, known as a patsy in ASL terms, and he can use his modifier to modify the patsy attempt by the German squad whether or not he goes in with the squad to attack the tank. The German squad rolls a nine with two dice. With the minus, roll, minus one dice roll modifier for the leader, they pass the task check, albeit barely. If it did not pass the task check, the squad could not go in and it would become pinned. We will now show, show how to do close combat with the squad alone and then with the squad and leader together using the close combat table. The German squad has a close combat, close combat value of five. None of the other modifiers apply. These are not engineers and they are not inexperienced, etc. So the Russian tank will be immobilized on a five and destroyed on a four or less. The armor factors of the tank do not apply in close combat. Now, if this battle had taken place in a street hex with buildings adjacent to both sides of the road, with the infantry leaving one of those buildings to attack the tank, the infantry would have enjoyed a minus one dice modifier to their attack for street fighting. So the tank would get immobilized on a six or destroyed on a five or less. The infantry would also get the street fighting bonus if the vehicle was in bypass in the hex where the infantry was located. Now let's assume that both the leader and the squad go in. Only two infantry counters can attack a vehicle during close combat before the vehicle attacks back, and only one of them can be a multi-man counter. If we add the leader to the attack in accordance with the table, an SMC adds one to an attack with infantry against the vehicle. Since he is in the attack, he can also modify the attack using his leadership modifier. So the attack would start at a, a five for the close combat value of the squad. Add one to the close combat value of the squad by adding a leader for a total of six. With a total of six for the close combat value, now you have a minus one dice roll modifier for the leadership of the uh, leadership modifier. So the tank will be immobilized on a seven and destroyed on a six or less. Here's an interesting note. If somehow the squad could attain ambush against the tank, that would add an additional minus one dice roll modifier to the attack. Now vehicle versus infantry close combat is sequential with the side without the armor going first. So in this case, if the tank is destroyed, it does not get to attack back. If the vehicle is not destroyed, then it would attack back using its coax and aim machine gun firepower to form a ratio with the combat value of the target. Bow machine guns are not used in close combat, but they do remove the non-functioning machine gun dice modifier seen on the table. In this case, the value for the coax machine gun is a four. Since the close combat value of the attacking stack is a six, the ratio is 1 to 2. The stack will get reduced on a 4 and removed on a 3 or less. If the infantry rolls a 12 on its attack, it gets reduced by crew small, small arms fire immediately before the tank attacks back. One major point with regards to close combat in infantry versus vehicles. Do not rush. Go through the table slowly and make sure you have all the variables correct. Once you do a couple of scenarios, with infantry versus vehicles, it will become second nature and you will realize it all makes sense. Remember, this game is supposed to be fun. Don't rush, relax, and enjoy it. The best way to really grasp it is to play against an experienced player. This concludes part two of Close Combat and Advanced Squad Leader. Part three is in production and it will cover vehicles, vehicle bypass freeze, and its effects on both infantry and the vehicle involved. If you found this and our other videos useful, and enjoyable, like us on YouTube and subscribe to our channel.
For the latest information on new games and tournaments, check out our JD Hobbies Facebook page. For reviews on the greatest and newest games, check out our website, www.table-top-war-games.com. And for all the newest reviews and information around this great game, Advanced Squalita, check out our website at www.theadvancedsqualitaexperience.com. Feel free to leave comments in the comment section below and let us know if there are any topics you would like us to cover. Like always, thanks for watching and take care.